find the amplitude, period, phase shift, and the graph of the equation y equals 4 cosine of x minus pi force. So let's start with the amplitude. How do you find amplitude? Amplitude equals what? Yeah, absolute A, which is absolute value of 4, which is equal to 4. So that's what that will look like on the test. Period is equal to what? Period is equal to what, Roman? Uh, 2 pi over absolute B. Good. 2 pi over absolute B, which is the same as saying what, Roman? Which is 2 pi. Good job. And phase shift is what? There's a couple ways to say it. Phase shift is... Yeah, that's the that's the interval which it lays on. But you could also say opposite of C over B. But the way I'm looking for it is what you're saying. The interval containing one cycle is that B X plus C is less than or equal to two pi, and greater than or equal to zero. And that's really what I'm looking for. Um, but if you did it this way, it would be um, opposite of. So it'd be pi. Four force, wouldn't it? Because the opposite of this value here, right? Over B, and B is 1, right? <clears throat> okay, uh, but to do it this way, we would do this X minus pi force is less than or equal to 8 force pi is everybody okay with the fact that I converted this fraction? Is that all right with you? And then what am I going to do here, Mr. Rock? I'm going to add pi force everywhere, and I add pi force here, add pi force here, and add pi force here. And we're going to know that the interval that we're going to find one cycle on is going to be where, sorry where x is greater than or equal to pi force, but less than or equal to 9 pi force. Gives us a good place to start, doesn't it, for us? Okay. Now, what are we going to do here? How are we going to start to sketch this? It's really easy to start to sketch this if we don't think about it too much. Just do what? Yeah, I'm just going to draw the curve, and then I'm going to label it the way I want it. So cosine kind of looks like this. It starts at this high point and goes down like this, right? And it handlebars and comes down and then goes back up and then starts here and gets to the top of this little hill right here and stops. Sorry. Gets to the top here right before it, right with it, up crest right there, doesn't it? Let's pretend these heights are the same. And what's this height right here, Jack? The height here? Exactly, the height here is 4. And this minimum height down here is negative 4. And then if I was going to draw on this imaginary line to tell me where I am, to tell me... Where, where am I right here, Jack? <coughs> where is this right here? Where's this angular value right here? It's not zero because of the interval. Exactly right, pi force. And then if I did the same thing here, where does this? It, where does it end? And now I want to try to figure out where is this? Where does it end here? Go back to you, Jack, if you don't mind. Say it again. Yeah, 9 pi force, right? And that where did I get those? I got the value from here and from here, right? right? And then we can use intermediate value theorem, I think. Not, I'm sorry, not intermediate value theorem, but mid midpoint theorem to figure out what this, what this angular value is here, right? What's this midpoint right here? The midpoint between here and here is what? 
Maria? Yeah, five, five. yeah, I think it's five pi fourths, isn't it? And that's what I'd be looking for on the test. At least three angular places that I can use as benchmarks for where we are. Is that okay? So here's the two heights. Here's the two heights, right? You don't need to tell me what this height is. Sorry, this this middle height is right here. I can figure this out. But the low height and the high height, I, I would want to know the starting point of the interval, the ending point of the interval, and the midpoint of the interval I would be interested in knowing. Is that fair? Yes? The question you're making faces at me. Is that okay? Because my art's terrible. Is that what the problem is? I'm sorry. Okay. So on the test, that's what I'm going to be asking you. I'm going to say, find the amplitude, find the period, phase shift. Those are going to be parts of the question. I'm going to ask you to graph. When I ask you to graph, uh, when I ask for the phase shift, you can give me the phase shift using this formula if you want, but make sure that you know I'm looking for that interval. And when I'm looking for the interval, I want that starting point and the ending point and at least, at least the midpoint value. So I want at least three values let me know that you know what this thing really looks like. Uh, if you wanted to, you could continue just to be just to be clever as you as you are. And you could do this. If you did this, you don't have to give me continuing values. But if you wanted to, you could leave that to show me that you realize that this is a, a, a secular curve there. All right. There are um, there'll be possibility of three curves: sine, cosine, or tangent. That's not to say there'll only be one of them, but there could be all three of them. There'll definitely be. You know what? Let's be honest. There'll definitely be sine and cosine. Minimum. Minimum. Both of those will show up on that. 